everyone, it's Sarah Addison Allen, and my new book, First Frost, was just released in January. It's a beautiful apple cover. I'm here to answer a couple of questions from uh, readers on Goodreads. And the first question is from Jameson, who asks, You've never written a sequel to one of your books before. What was the motivation to do so now, and what was it like visiting the Waverleys again? Well, it was a great experience. It was a, it was a comforting experience. And... Um, when I when I wrote Garden Spells, I was I was pretty surprised by by the reader feedback when they when readers said they wanted to know more, they wanted more story, and I had given these characters their happy endings, and I thought that was that. But when I started getting those those requests and the, those um, those comments, I filed away a story in the back of my head, and I thought one day I'll return to the Waverleys. And um, finally, it felt like the right time. It came on the heels of, writing this book came on the heels of, of writing a very hard book for me, which was Lost Lake. Lost Lake was my first book, um, the first book I wrote after cancer treatment. And so it was hard getting that, in, that routine and back into that headspace. And so I think I needed something comforting after that experience. So um, I returned to the way release. And it, and it was, it was a great experience. I've likened it to... Um, like when you go away to college for the first time and then you come home on break and you sleep in your old bed in, in your old bedroom and it's the best night's sleep you've had in months. That's what riding first frost felt like. So it was a great experience. Thanks for asking. The next question comes from Erin and she says, Hi Sarah, first off I love this book. What I loved was the idea of celebrating the first frost. The idea that the changing of a season affecting our behavior was such a great concept. How did the theme of first frost come about? What made you want to center around the idea of the coming frost and have it be a catalyst for a lot of the drama that occurs in the story? Um, I, I came up with the idea for first frost um, based on something that happened in Garden Spells. Writing a sequel of sorts, um, you know, you're sort of grounded and, and you're confined to a world you've already created. And in Garden Spells, I, I said that the apple tree, that cranky apple tree in the Waverly's backyard, blooms in the winter. Um, but I also knew when I first, when I was writing First Frost, I wanted this book to be set in, in the fall, in that comforting time of year when we crave apple and pumpkin and the leaves begin to fall. So um, I, ha I had to deal with this dissonance of this apple tree blooming when all the rest of the trees around town were, uh, the leaves were falling. Um, and I came up with this idea of, of the Waverly women um, being affected by, by this change in this tree. I mean, uh, they're so connected to this house and this property and this tree that they start feeling this anxiety and this sense of something building, that, that sense we always get just before something begins, something changes. And so that's how First Frost came about. Thanks for asking. Um, the last question is from Hannah Rowland, and she asks, um, who has been your favorite character to write about from all your previous novels? Do you like that character because you relate to them or because opposites attract? I think um, uh, the characters, in, uh, all the, out of all the characters in all my books, I, I actually like the elderly characters the best. I, I like how they ground a story in, in wisdom and experience and how they can help the other characters around them, the younger characters around them. Um, I, I love Evano in Garden Spells and First Frost, and um, elderly giant Grandpa Vamp in The Girl Who Chased the Moon. And most of the characters in Lost Lake are actually elderly. Um, but if I had to choose, I would choose Evano. She's actually based on um, one of the only characters I've ever written that's based on a real person. Um, there was a real Evenel, and her name was Evenel. She was a friend, a long ago friend of my great aunt Charlotte's. Um, and she would get it in her head that she would need to make my great aunt Charlotte a sweet potato pie or bring Aunt Charlotte um, a bucket of blackberries. And, and so Evenel in Garden Spells and First Frost has this frustrating magic that she some, suddenly is overcome with this need to give someone a gift, whether it's a box of Pop Tarts or a piece of string. And, and the recipient of those gifts always needs that gift sometime later. So um, uh, I think I would choose Eve and Elle as my favorite character. Um, she makes me remember my great aunt Charlotte. So uh, thanks everyone for your questions. If you keep checking back on my uh, Goodreads page, I'll be answering more. And be 
well. Thank you.